Hello, back out again on my own today. Sun's at college. Um, so today I'm uh, walking up down the Downs Link route, um, heading from a place called Southwater, and I'm going up, possibly past uh, Christ Hospital, a few miles up the road. Um, it's a bit open-ended. Help. I mean, I could walk. <laughs> I think it goes up about 40, 50 miles. I say I'm not doing anything like that today, but I just have a walk up turn around you know when it gets to the time when when I feel like it um, so yeah I'm just going through South Water now uh, a little bit about South Water uh, population of about 6,000 I think either way it was a town based around the brickworks great big brick brickworks um, that shut in 1981 I think and then the whole of the brickworks was sort of turned into what's called behind me Southwater Country Park. Um, it's quite a big park actually, it sort of dominates the centre of Southwater. Um, they've got all sorts of things for kids. They've got plastic dinosaurs as I remember. Anyway, yeah, it's about four miles south of Horsham Southwater. So yeah, heading straight up. Okay, finally got through Southwater. Nice, well, not nice, but it's quite a long walk through town. And then there's a, looks like a new housing estate, um, which is very nice, all done up. Got a little pond and everything. So, we're walking up Downs Link. Um, not surprisingly, it's pretty straight and a pretty good path. I um, only saw a tiny bit of mud because it was an old railway line. Um, I don't think there's much evidence left, apart from maybe a Christ Hospital station, because that is still a working station. But there's also a part that was part of this railway line that's shut. But we'll find out when we get there, because I know that the school that own the whole ground have sort of done it up or allowed some bit more walking around there, changed the path, but we shall see. Right, straight through those trees is Christ Hospital School. Hopefully you can see it. A um, little bit about it, it's a few school. It was founded, the school originally in London by Edward VI in 1532, I believe. Um, and then they bought the Horsham site, I think a bit before the turn of the century. And I don't know if you can hear those bells. I don't know what time that means it is, probably 11. A bit more about the school. Um, there was, is a girls part of the school which was based up in Hampshire um, and then in 1985 it merged with the boys school and they moved down to Horsham as well so now it houses all the pupils I think there's about 900 of them um, yeah it's through there one interesting thing is they've got this amazing I'll turn the camera around yeah they've got this amazing dining hall it's huge with this uh, picture up on the wall, which goes back to, I don't know, 1600 or something like that, or even earlier. Um, and when they were, hang on, there's a train. Right by the line that goes up to Horsham, and it's going up to Christ Hospital Station. Anyway, yeah, when they were filming Harry Potter, they asked the school if they could use the dining hall for Hogwarts um, but the catch was they wanted the school to take down that giant painting of some of the previous pupils and masters I'll show it to you again sorry about train so yeah straight through there so they wanted to take down the painting and it turned out it would have actually possibly damaged the painting so the school had to refuse so that's through there 
is the current station. Well, the station's always been there. This is the deserted platform for the railway that ran through here. Um, up the Downsloop path. Um, it shut in 1966 due to Beeching's cuts. It ran from Shoreham all the way up to Guildford. I'll give you a spin around. Yeah, wow. So there is, and you might be able to see the sign saying Christ Hospital for the new one through there. So there's a bit more here. This is all really interesting about Christ Hospital and the station. And it's basically saying um, the station was built as part of the deal um, for the school to come here. Um, there's a picture of the station building, which would have been up there somewhere. And that's a picture of the pupils coming, first pupils arriving in 29th of May 1902 at the station. So, we left Christ Hospital behind um, and we're just heading up, I'm just going to keep heading up. There's a itching field some way over to the left. Um, there's a main road further up that we will probably get to and cross. But yeah, it's lovely, lovely weather. Cold, but if you're wrapped up you're okay. Um, the path stretches back miles behind me, dead straight, railway line. It's going under a bridge there. Um, seen the odd cyclist, the odd dog walker, but it's really lovely and quiet. Ah, cup of tea and a sandwich. Lovely jubbly. So I just uh, walked up and got to a place called Slimfold. Um, I was on the outskirts, lots of new houses, lots of building going on. Uh, so yeah, so I've turned around now and I'm headed back down towards Southwater past Christ Hospital. Um, tempting fate, weather's lovely, no rain, there wasn't a forecast to be any rain. Um, so I'm doing really well. Uh, when the sun's out it's warm. It gets a bit breezy, so it's like scarf on and off, hat on and off, but it's fine, it only takes a second. Okay, back in the car. Um, really nice walk nice weather um bit chilly this morning but i had the gear and then the afternoon really warmed up car park a pound um all day this time of year it goes up the rest of the year and i'm in south water station car park same place where i did my buck barn video and i went the other way so my verdict it's great um i'd say it's really suitable it's, it's really good if you're looking for something it's flat uh, the path is really good, so if it's been raining, you're not really going to encounter too many troubles. Um, although, once you get past Christ's Hospital Station a bit further off, it does start to get a bit muddy. Um, so it'd be great, you know, if you've got someone physically disabled or someone who just wants something flat, you can choose how far you go. It'd be a great route. Um, don't expect massive, amazing views. Um, there are some views between the sort of trees and hedges and things so there are some sort of flat views but you're not going to get great big vistas but all in all really good walk so i'll catch you next time bye <laughs>